sorry for interrupting Hobie, the screen that I paused on. Hello, J-Hope. Um, G'day everyone, Average Alexis here, hoping you're having a good one. Oh wait, I'm gonna put glasses on, sorry. Um, I'm late again to reacting to this. Oh, there we go, I can see now. <laughs> um, so, 1am this morning, my time, BTS released their latest song, which is, I think, the intro to this album. I can't quite remember what it was that it said. I'm super tired, guys. I had 10 till 3.15 at one job yesterday and then 4.15 till midnight at another job. And by the time I got home, I literally just collapsed. So that's why we're getting another late reaction. Um, I don't know who does the song. I don't know if it's the debate up on Twitter was between Hobie or Jungkook. I don't know which one of them's doing it. I don't really... It's not that I don't care who does it, it's just that I know it's going to be amazing regardless of who does it. Um, but yeah, I literally, I woke up maybe 10 minutes ago, put the washing on, and I was like, oh crap, I better film this. <laughs> so I was a little bit tired, but um, we go and persevere. Let's just ignore my hair for now. Um, so yeah, I haven't even brought up YouTube on my computer yet, so we're gonna... We're gonna see. Also, it's very hot, hence the reason I'm wearing a singlet, but meh. Meh. Okay. So, YouTube. Is it gonna be on the homepage? Australia, have we done well? What do you mean it's not- oh no, wait, there it is. It's the outro. It is Hobie, yay. Okay, I was like, why is this not on my recommenders? Literally my entire YouTube is looking at BTS stuff. BTS, Map of the Soul, it's the outro, not the intro, Alexis, the, because Persona was the intro. Mm. Okay, <laughs> so it looks bright and colorful and it's reminding me so much of Daydream that Hobie did. Oh, that probably means I'm gonna like this a lot. Okay. Okay, captions are on, bloody ad. I don't care. Okay. Oh, I hope you did a good job, Hobie. Ready? I didn't do this the last time, I missed it. I don't know what I was reacting to that I missed it on, but yeah. We're now going to progress to yes! the steps which are a bit more difficult. Ready? Ready? Set, set, yes! Okay, uh, before I even start, for those of you who don't know, we worked out from the comeback trailer um, interlude Shadow that the boys are going backwards through their first three albums because RM doing Persona was like the intro to School Love Affair. And then... Um, Yungi doing Shadow had a lot of references back to um, Oh Are You Late 2 or Oh Really Are You Late something. I can't quite remember the name of the album. I always forget the name of that album. It's ridiculous. And then this, for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure most of you should, this was the intro to Too Cool For School. Yes, I love that they're bringing back all these old ones. It's great. Okay, sorry to interrupt, Hobie. I'm literally 18 seconds into the video. I've already paused it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's all the old videos. Oh my God, yes. Going back in time. Ah, I can't hope. Don't smile at me like that. Yes, Hobie! Oh, wait! Is, um, sorry for interrupting Hobie, the screen that I paused on, hello, J-Hope. Um, him falling and falling asleep, is that a reference back to his character in the BT, the BTS universe, like, because he, um, has, is it, 
narcolepsy or something like that. Whatever it is where you fall asleep wherever you are kind of thing at some point. God, Jay Hope, you look so good. This is, this is a good switch up too. Because a lot of people with Shadow and with Black Swan, we're all thinking that the album's going to have a darker vibe. These lyrics aren't necessarily boppy, happy lyrics, but this isn't like dark or anything like that. Trust Jay Hope to liven this fucking album up. That sounded bad. Not liven it up, just give it a different vibe. Okay, sorry, Hobie. <laughs> yes, Jay Hope. Did I just catch that right? Was that? Did Jay Hope have open shirt just then? Mm. <laughs> Jay Hope, you're not gonna do this to me again. It's not gonna happen. Okay. Oh, he sounds so good. Again. Yes, Jay Hope. Yes, Jay Hope. You dance, boy. Yes, Hobie. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Damn, Hobie, yes. Yes, Hobie. Get it, Hobie. I can't wait to see the bang time bomb for this. Here we go. I love this. Myself. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna pause again. I know it's nearly finished, but is that um sorry for yelling. Is that the I wanna say it's the female producer that's in big hit Adora? It could be somebody else. I could be completely wrong, but she has a really good voice anyway. And I feel like cause she lent herself didn't she help out with um Just Dance and Seesaw, like lending her voice to those and that sort of thing? And she's lent her voice to a couple of other things the boys have done. Um I'm just wondering who that is, because she sounds amazing. Unless I could be completely wrong and it is somebody different, but whoever the female voice is behind that, because I'm pretty sure it's a female voice, they sound amazing. Anyway. Oh, I just noticed the screen. My ego, true, army, my way, ego, hope. Trust yourself. Yes, boys, trust yourselves. I'm sick of people doubting the boys' decisions or thinking that the boys are making certain choices that are affecting ARMY and blah, 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 blah. Um, I'll tell you after this, my little spiel that I've got, but I'm sorry to interrupt you, Herbie. This is so good. That voice. Oh, that was so good. Yes. I'm so happy. No, no. I don't want... No, no, go away. That was so good. It's already got 7.9 million views. Yes, boys. Um, anyway, what I was saying, before I get into how awesome that was, um, a lot of people, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I've put up a couple of little things about it, but a lot of people have been complaining 
about the ticket prices for um, Soundcheck, for the gold package for Soundcheck over in the States. It's $500 USD. Now, I, like, I live in Australia. I'm not gonna get the chance to see them on this tour unless they come to Australia or New Zealand. And honestly, if you, can ha if you have the chance to go see them, I suggest you take it because while you're all out there and I get that a $500 US is a lot of money, I'd be looking at a thousand because the Australian dollar is horrible or maybe a little bit less than a thousand, but that's how much I'd be looking at. But I would gladly pay that if I had it and if it meant that I could see these boys in concert. What you need to understand for those of you who are complaining about it, saying that we should get this, 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 and this if we're gonna pay that much money for it. One, the boys don't decide on the prices of the tickets, okay? There are a lot of factors that go into the prices of the tickets being made. For example, you've got venue hire. You've obviously, they've got to pay certain people and that sort of thing. And all of the ticket money like a portion of that will go towards those expenses. That's what you need to understand, okay? I get some people that are probably complaining about the prices are like younger army members who, I don't know, don't have jobs or are asking their parents to purchase the ticket for them or something like that. But honestly, it's rubbing me the wrong way online because there's so many people complaining about the prices of the tickets. And there are so many army across the world that the boys aren't coming anywhere near them so we won't get the chance to see them like we are not lucky enough to have them a two hour drive from your place like if bts come back to australia i will happily pay the money to go see them for sound check i don't care if i get a meet or greet or not meet and greet or not i just want to be able to see everything and you're all over here complaining about the price of a ticket when like the second thing, other than all, this, all the stuff that factors into the, this has nothing to do with the boys. Secondly, there is not a bad seat in a BTS concert. I have seen so many videos of people who were up in the nosebleeds having the time of their goddamn lives because you meet new people, you get to make new friends and you meet all these people who love something just as much as you do and it just baffles me that everyone else is all like oh well this is a bunch of bullshit i don't want to pay 500 dollars for this how much money do you spend on their merch and then complaining saying oh we get all this free content yes we do that's the point we get so much free stuff you need to just calm down i'm sorry um i'm supposed to be talking about how great j-hope was that was amazing that was i worded it wrong when i said that was a great way to liven up the album. Um, it wasn't necessarily livening it up, it's just a different, and I get what it means by ego, because like shadow is supposed to be the darker part of yourself or the part of yourself that you try to hide, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I could be completely wrong. And your ego, your ego and your persona are very, very close to each other. Your persona is obviously what you put, kind of what you put for, oh, I need to look it up, I've forgotten what it is. Um, aspect of someone's character that is presented or perceived by others. So the persona is what you put forward to everybody else. But I feel like the thing fueling the persona is your ego. So naturally, a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. So your ego fuels your persona. So with that song seeming so bright and bubbly, J-Hope was still talking about like all the struggles that they've faced and everything like that and all the stuff they've had to put forward. And um, I feel like, yeah, see, it's the psychoanalysis of it is the part of the mind that mediates between the conscious and the unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and is a sense of personal identity. So yeah, the ego is what's fueling the persona and keeping the shadow away. So it makes sense that ego seems like a boppier, happier song. And then Persona was like this middle ground for RM, um, where he's talking about like, who am I, what am I doing and that sort of thing. And then with Jungi and Shadow, he's talking about how, you know, he's up there, who is he? But then he's always got his shadow there with him, which is his like your true self kind of thing shining through. So it's, it's great how they've done this. I 
love that this is like they're focusing so much on something like this on the, the psyche and all that something sort of it's great um anyway <laughs> sorry for babbling on as per usual that's really woken me up though thank you j-hope that was gorgeous but um that's a wrap for this video thanks heaps for watching like and subscribe if you want to believe in yourself and be you and i will catch you in the next one i'm gonna go turn my notifications back on now and hope to god i don't get bombarded bye guys